everybody welcome back to the channel today is going to be my cash stuffing video my third one of April so let's get right on into it you guys I hope everyone has had a great week so far I know Tuesday it's it's literally only two days into the week um, but I hope everyone is doing well regardless I am still sick um, and I actually have not had the best mental health week over the last week, but we're doing we're, we're doing our best. We're thriving as best as we can. It's okay. So yeah, we're gonna start here. So we've got the five hundred and seventy dollars, you guys. Um, I guess I can quickly count it if anyone is, you know, wondering whether or not this is five hundred seventy or not. So we can do that really quick. So one hundred. 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. <clears throat> I definitely spent basically the whole day in bed again. Um... I know it's partially because I'm sick, but do you, any of you ever have just like really bad mental health weeks where you don't want to get out of bed? I know that's like the farthest thing that you should be doing when you're not feeling well, but I felt like that's just what I needed today and a, a couple of other days over the last week, but here we are. And also another full disclaimer, Edward and I went out to eat multiple times over the last week. Now, I only spent 40 out of my envelope, but I did spend some out of my account cushion um, because I did only have the 20 left and we went to this new ice cream shop that opened up um, really like very close to my house yesterday. So I paid for that out of my account cushion, but he has also treated me. Oh God, you could ask, um, Robin, if you're watching this girl, please don't, uh, please don't give it away too badly. We did sushi. We went to Denny's. Um, we had ice cream. Um, what else did we do? I don't even remember, but we definitely went out to eat a few times this week. So some weeks are worse than others. So I'll just go with it. Anyhow, I am going to be putting I think I'll use up some of the fives here. I don't know why they gave me a lot of fives today. So five, 10, 15, and 20. I'll just put some fives in here because I had to, like I said, pull out of my account cushion for the ice cream because I didn't want to, I, I mean, I use my card anyway, but I don't want to, you know, put a 20 in when I've only spent, um, I think it was like, $11. So I'll add some change in there and I can just pull out, you know, 15 closer to when I have to pay off the amount. So, oh shoot, I didn't even count it guys. So that should be 40 though. So 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Okay. Okay. So that's the first one. And then I guess just before I get too far into anything else, I will be taking... 175 <clears throat> and I will be setting that aside for my weekly investments so 51 50 70 and 5 so 175 all right so 570 so we're subtracting the $20 into date night and we are subtracting the 175 from my investments okay and then today I will be adding $20 into my phone. So we're going to just do a 20. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. Okay. And then we are also going to do $10 into gas. I still haven't needed to get gas. Um, I think I'm actually for sure 100% at half now, so I'll probably go in the next week or so. We'll see. 
but for now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. $70 for gas. And that'll be it for this binder for anyone who is new. Hi, I'm so glad that you are here today. I hope you decide to stick around. Um, I do only currently do some of my envelopes because I am on a fixed income while I am off work. So I used to get over $570 every single week once, you know, my, my taxes, my pension, um, dental health, everything like that came out. So currently while I'm off work due to illness, I am only getting the 570, but I still am waiting to hear back if I will get that income raise, I guess, if you will, while I'm off. So not everything will be getting funded right now, which is kind of why I basically the same envelopes are being funded each and every week. So that's just how it is currently, but as soon as I'm back to work or I get the little boost in my income, I will definitely be doing more things, which I'm very excited for. So munchies, groceries, pets, self-care, these will not be getting funded today. Okay. And then we're going to go into my second binder here. Um... Now, did I do those? That's probably correct now, hopefully. All right, and then we are going to do my plates, which, again, if you guys don't know, it might be a little different in Canada uh, compared to, like, the U.S. or other places, but our insurance and everything is kind of all tacked into one company. So I'm adding in 25, you guys. Um... So that's why I only have like the one payment. So I think there's like a registration or like a tag or something for people in the U.S. We don't have that. So it's um, everything all basically combined. So it's an annual fee of it's on a it's basically a combination of things. So how well of a driver you are goes into play. You get a discount each year that you are not in an accident. That is not your fault. Um and then also things like how old the vehicle is or how new the vehicle is and whether or not you drive it in or out of your province. So things like that. So now I added in the 25. So I have a total of 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80. Okay. And then we have my gift envelope, which is going to get 15. So 20, 25, and 30, and then we've got 35 and 45. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay, one more week left of like a paycheck again. So last paycheck is next week already, which is wild. Okay, so... Minus 25 and minus 15. So that shouldn't leave me with 305. We'll see if I've done the math correct. So I have 100, 200, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, and 305. So that's good. So we're going to open this up. And we'll come... Oops. I smushed... My 100s. I guess the last time I filmed or something. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still under the weather. I am congested. Very congested. <clears throat> and yeah, like I said, just not feeling 100% the last week. So, shoot. Okay, so I'll have to count and see if that works. Because I did throw that in there. Sorry, this is going to look like a hot mess for a minute here. Okay. Also, 
before I count this, you guys, I will say my job might be going on strike here tomorrow. So like I said, today's Tuesday. It's Tuesday the 18th today. And as of Wednesday the 19th, if they don't come to an, an agreement with, um, I guess, those higher up, then we will be striking as of Wednesday. But because I am off work, I, I have no part in it. I am obviously not in a position to be able to work because of what's going on. So I've also deemed it that, you know, because of that, I don't have to participate in the strike if that is what is going down. So, wow. Um, that'll be a first for me, guys. I've never been part of anything like that before. So, I mean, it's too bad that I'll like miss out because obviously I would love to fight for fair wages. Um, so I think the main things that we're fighting for is better job security um, better wages that go with like inflation as well as uh, remote work because everyone has been doing their jobs from home uh, obviously since the pandemic happened but because we have like shifted to that everyone obviously prefers it for the most part there are some people who still want to go to work which if you want to that's cool if you don't want to I think you should be able to stay home but uh, anyway, so we'll see what happens with that. That's pretty cool. It's um, it's sad that you have to, you know, get to that point. But thank goodness for unions. And yeah, there's uh, a lot of people involved with that. So hopefully we can come to some sort of resolution. Anyhow here, so I've um, put all of the money together. So let's give it a quick count. We've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, oops, 99, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, which will be $305. So, and again, guys, I feel like a broken record when I say this. The only reason that I am able to put so much money into like things like my house down payment and like retirement, so 175 a week and about 700 to 875 a month, depending if there's that special um, extra week in there. Um, I'm only able to do this because of the living situation that um, I'm blessed with. I don't have to pay rent, like I said, um, but if you are new here, that is why. I. That's basically it. I know people will have their opinions on that, and, you know, I probably would as well, <clears throat> but it really is a blessing. So it is what it is, and I'm taking it as I am. I am making the most of it, and I am saving what I can for a down payment with my partner because he has the same luxury. We both live at home still and neither of us have to pay for rent. So we are just honestly saving as much as we possibly can so we can, you know, go out and buy our own place, but we have not done so yet because, I mean, we really just started. I've only been saving for the house for about a year and a half. Um, and while, yes, we have reached a good milestone, it's still not adequate for the economy of like where it's currently at. I know prices are going to be going down, especially with a recession on the horizon or if we're already in one, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. I do what I can for my dad, um, but he does not want my money or my sister's money. So he's made that very clear on multiple occasions. He is fully retired. Um, his mortgage is going to be paid off here less like six months, I think six months to a year rather so anyhow that that is what it is so um that's all i have for today guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week stay strong um i know there's going to be times where you have really 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 tough weeks and some weeks are going to be like fantastic but for me personally this week has not been fantastic so if you're also one of those people who are not having a great week, I hope it gets better. And if you're having a great week, I'm really glad to hear that. And I hope it continues to be just as wonderful, if not better. So I love you guys. I really, really do. 
I'll see you in my next one. I know, please don't kill me. I have to update still with the sinking funds. I know I am starting to like piece it all together. Um, but that is definitely more challenging than I thought it was going to be just because um, the banking platform is different than what it was. So it's not, yeah, I'll explain. All right. I love you. Take care. Bye.